What's up guys? Welcome to your 38th Android tutorial. Again with me, Travis, for my bring back. And this one's for you, Andre San Mar. Um, obviously, yeah, I've been kind of going slow with this freaking sprite sheet, as you can see here, but we're going to finish it today. So what we need to do now that we've got our rows established, we want to get the actual column, the section of, you know, basically our source um, of x, our x value. So you know how far over it goes instead of just the height that we worked with in the last tutorial. So let's set up just an int real quick. Actually, no, we won't do it that way. What we're going to do is we're actually going to just get all the code done and then I'll explain everything. So um, in the previous tutorial, we set up this int called current frame. We set it equal to be zero. Now what we want to do is we want to go into our update method and scroll down to the bottom where we actually update our position. And right here, this is where we're going to change our current frame. We're going to set this equal to plus one of the current frame. So basically we're just adding one to the current frame, um, which right now is zero. So this will be one, and then we're going to use something called a modulus. And then we're going to divide it by the amount of columns there are. So there's four columns. So that will basically rotate kind of like we did with our direction. Uh, we changed the direction, which was um, kind of handling our, our rows for us. This is going to handle our, our columns. So, um, I'll get to that explanation in a second, but uh, as for now, we're just going to finish up our code, make sure it works. So then we're going to go down to our onDraw method, and we're going to create another int, and we're going to call this source x. We're going to set this equal to our current frame times our width. If I can spell. <clears throat> and there we go. Now all we're going to do is, again, we're just going to kind of do the same concept that we did with the, the height, uh, changing our rows, except now we're going to change our column. So we're going to start at the source of x, and we're going to add, um, that's where the starting point is, again, within our sprite sheet, and, uh, you know, could be here, and then we're just going to go over for the width, or, you know, it could even be here, and then we're just going to go over the width as well. So our starting position is here. And then how far over we're going to go is we're going to go from our starting position plus the width of the bitmap or how much we want to cut out as well. So now when we save it and run it, and while that's loading, I just want to add another method here. It's just going to be a simple thread.sleep method, which you guys should be familiar with. We're just going to sleep for 50 seconds, or I'm sorry, 50 milliseconds. And uh, as you can see, we get an error. We just have to throw in the try and catch here. And there we go. We have a sleep method. So let's hopefully, or let's make sure this works here. So we're going to go into our surface view again. As you can see, it hops along nicely. Um, it's kind of a little fast, so that's why I threw in that sleep method, which hasn't been registered this time we're running. Um, because we were typing that in as the emu emulator is loading. So now let's talk through what we've done. What is this like percentage sign? What does that stand for? What's going on? What are you doing? Um, so let's get into it. So what this is called, I'm going to switch over to a new class I created. You guys don't have to type this, this is just for the purpose of this tutorial here um, to explain what a modulus is. Basically what a modulus is, is it gives us the remainder of something basically being divided. So if we said 0 divided by 4, the remainder is going to be 0. If you guys remember back in like elementary school or whatever, um, when we save this project, this is just a Java class, um, created an int, and we're using this modulus thing. So basically uh, 0 divided by, divide by 4, there's going to be a remainder of 0 left over. So as you can see here, it gives us 0 as well. And we can do that for 1. 1 divided by 4 basically is going to have a remainder of 1 as well because, you know, uh, 4 can't be divided into 1. So 1 is going to be left over. Um, and 2, same thing. 3, here's where it gets fun. 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1 with a remainder of 0. So it's going to give us, again, the remainder. So when we run this application, it gives us a whopping big fat zero right there. And just the same as five, you know, we save this and run it. 
4 goes into 5 one time with a remainder of 1. So it's giving us the remainder. Again, same concept with 6. Just going to go take this kind of you know, as far as I can here. So 6 divided by 4, that's 1 with a remainder of 2. So then we um, you know, run this again, we get a 2. So now what it's doing is basically, let's jump back over to our sprite class here. So what this method here is doing is basically adding one to the current frame. So this keeps getting higher and higher of a value, but we're dividing it by four and we're taking the remainder. So it's just gonna cycle through zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, because again, it's just the remainder that's giving us. That's what this percentage sign stands for. It's, it's called a modulus, or you can just think of it as a remainder. Now what we're doing is we're taking our source value, again, if we open up our sprite sheet, uh, again, we're cycling through 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So again, this is going to be our starting point, this source x. So it's going to cycle through. Let's say we're on the first row here. It's going to cycle through. It's either going to be 0. This is our starting position, our 1, our 2, or th 3, um, and then 0, 1, 2, 3 again. Basically, again, it has to realize our sprite sheet, so we're taking, instead of just moving one pixel over, one pixel over, we're moving by the width, which is again 32 pixels for this sprite, sh sprite sheet example. So basically it's going to say current frame is 0 times 32, so it's still going to stay here. But if we're on frame 1, and then times 32, again, it's going to start over here. So it's basically the same concept as we did in the last tutorial. Um, you guys can just kind of look through it, you'll process it and get it, and all we're doing is we're moving um, again, this is our starting position, this is our ending position, so we want to move over to the width as well. Uh, again, this is the rectangle that cuts out of our sprite sheet. So again, our, our thread is going to slow down our speed. So uh, again, we just made it sleep for 50 milliseconds, so that's running at 20 frames per second. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys, um, and also this little mini-series for sprite animation, because it took like five videos or six videos or something crazy like that but uh, we'll get into something else here and hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about game programming and sprite animations so thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next tutorial have a good one peace